Hey everybody, I'm glad you came back and I hope you're enjoying the part A and part B and we're, we're moving down, wrapping up. I broke it down to, we about 40 minutes left and I broke it down to 20 minute segments. So this is part C of renewing our mind and, and, and really focusing on the image of who we're supposed to transform to. You know, we talked about it in Romans 12. Verse 2, the fact is that be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we're starting this segment up uh, for part C, basically talking about the, the good fight, the good fight of faith. Uh, first part of that, and, and, and it's we, we read, we said it was 1 Timothy uh, chapter 5, but really it's 1 Timothy chapter 6 uh, in the opening of this video. Uh, it, it, one of the things I like about it, like the beginning of it, and I'll read it to you here, it says, But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, goodness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. It's a good fight of faith. It's a good fight of faith. It's a good fight, and and and, and I, one of the studies I had uh, many years ago was the fact is that your mind is the arena of faith. Think about that. Your mind, our minds, are the arena of faith, and we're supposed to fight the good fight of faith in that arena, relying and trusting on what the Word of God says about who we are. And if we focus on that, we realize we have the victory. So, once again, thank you for this opportunity to allow us to come in and, and share the Word of God with you. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the, for the season for this Christmas Day coming up. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, let me, let me read you some of, uh, about Jesus from Timothy, First Timothy. First Timothy, uh-huh. Chapter five. Five. Verse eleven. But thou, O man of God, uh -huh. flee these things mm. and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith. Love, patience, meekness. Mm. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God. Mm. Good God, you see deep these fellows took this thing to be some, some. You, you think about the attitude he's taking with you. It's almost like the. <laughs> I, I charge you with the sight of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on now. <laughs> that thing, he, he was serious and was look, this ain't nothing to play with. I'm charging you in the very sight of God himself. Woo. Mm. Mm. In the very I charge. I charge. I shall be in the sight of God who quickened all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed the good confession, that thou keep the commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he said. We see in his time, he shall show who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Who only has immortality, dwelling in light which no man can approach unto. Mm. Good God. That's the only chapter that we get. That's first chapter. First chapter. Listen, listen. Starting verse 11. 
Okay. And when John, John said, God is light. Hmm. Now, I don't know about y'all number. What form does light have? No, no. It illuminates them. What form does light have? Help y'all. What, what's the image of light? <laughs> 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 we didn't have all these discussions. I don't want y'all. I want somebody to give me some insight. I need to know. What form does light have? Chris, you got it. You got one form. What form? Not for them. Not only is it light, he said it's inapproachable light. Almost like on the Mount of Transfiguration. Mm -hmm. Jesus turned to some white. Yeah. 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 John is John is taken up into heaven and he sees this glory what, that he can he can't even describe. It. It, 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 and he, in order for him to have something right, he, he sees something that has a form, but he really doesn't the form here. He said, no, he saw a throne, and there's something about the throne that, that is identified to be God. Yeah. So, so, so we start talking about God. You see, we 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 done moved off into we done moved off into infinity. Yeah. We done moved off into something what I measure with an intensity beyond what human God might. God. Yes. And now he has embraced himself to, to come down to our level right. to get inside of us. Yes, sir. The creator now inside of the creator. Mm. Seeking now. Come on now. Lord, to bring us into this. <laughs> Image, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't shape it. Right. You can't shape it. Good God. But there is, there is this element of unlimitedness about it. Yeah. Because he says against these things there is no law. Mm. Especially physical law. There is no, you can't love too much. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna get no ticket from God for loving too much. Woo. You love too much. Right, right. Yeah. You don't get no ticket for that. You don't get no, no, no kickback from God. What about unlimited love? What about sacrificial love? You don't get no kickback from him. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's characteristics. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm, I'm trying to still work from wrap my head around is again what it looks like. And, and, and it's a thought process. It, it still seems to be a thought. But well, wait, but what is this? What is you can say what when it looks like? Look like in the sense of the sight, physical sight. No, no, but you see, you see, what I'm saying? Well, God is interested in what it looks like. Well, God is interested in what it what it produces. The character, I think, character is it has it gotten down into the. Have, have you consumed it in such a way yeah. that the food that you eat becomes? It, it gets into your fingernail. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, woo. <laughs> what you eat get down into the lowest fiber of your being. Mm. Have, this, have you digested the thing in such a way now that it is oozing and radiating out of you? Okay. I like that. Okay, so, so, so we're looking at, when we look at Corinthians 13, do I speak with the tongues of angels and of men? You know, men and of angels, but they have not love, I'll come to sign the brass and things. So it goes on to describe what love looks like when it's manifested. It says God is love. Yes, sir. It doesn't tell us what God is. It says God is light. Uh, he dwells in light that's unapproachable. Right, right. But it doesn't really oh, give sorry. us a, a concise explanation okay. aside from a description of what, what that is. Yeah. But it tells us what the manifestation of it is. Right. And so how does that affect us at a basic level? Is it the way we think? I mean, when I come across my enemy, am I still applying these things that are shown in 13? I mean, it, because it says love the enemies, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> right. even at that case, in that case, then I should still be portraying the same behaviors towards somebody that I know is right. an enemy to me as I would towards somebody that I know yeah. had befriended and, and benevolent toward me. I want to say one thing. Listen, be careful. Don't say, 
I asked the question, is love an image? Come on, man. But I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand now here. I think the only way we will ever know is to, is, is, is to let the text take hold of us. Yeah. And then us trying to take hold of the text. We gotta spend enough time to eventually the text will take hold of you. Mm -hmm. If your heart is right and you want to know God, it is, it is, it is, he'll use the text now to become the means of speaking to you, and it's that speaking to you that's gonna bring about the change. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our problem is we don't want we don't want to roll up a sleeve and get in there and do the work. We want to come in here and spend 15 minutes Woo. on the doctor commercial and think we're gonna get this thing. And God is saying, no, no, no. Uh -uh. This thing here is gonna require your all. We said, what I've been asking you for from the very beginning. I want all of you. I want you to surrender your life to me, all of it. And I don't believe that we can get anything from God short of that full commitment. We try to fool ourselves, but we can't fool God. You ain't gonna get no two, but in your heart, you're holding back on God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Amen. So, Amen. So, you can so, say that again. You can fool yourself if you want. God, look at him. No. I ain't never had him because, see, you, what, what's he gonna do with it? That's right. You're gonna keep something back from yourself. That was Lucifer's problem. Come on. Uh huh. Come on. Amen. That was his problem. You want something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and you ain't got nothing for you because you ain't worth it. I ain't worth it. Whoa. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Amen. I ain't worth it. What about that scripture right there, the uh, 2 Corinthians? Which that 2 Corinthians 3.18. Read that one. Uh, 2 Corinthians 3.18. Yeah. Read that one. Uh, yeah. Read that one. But we all, with yeah. open faith, behold, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord. Yes, sir. Are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Even, and to me, is that a progress we're talking? Yeah. From glory to glory. From faith to faith. But listen, but listen, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> I all about chamber play of 43 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. He died, he died in 43. But God had did 80 some years worth of work in that world. Wow. Mm. See, you see, I don't think it's a matter of progress the way we understand it. That's right. I think it's about a long way to get to surrender. Mm. Uh, and, and when you say that, what does that look like? I mean, you all want to give me for, for uh, keep going back to what does that look like? I don't mean like what does it physically look like. Well, in a sense, I do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, if, if I apply or I can have a my car is running low on oil. I can get, I can buy some and put it in the car. But if I put it in the back seat of the car, it's not gonna help the car. I mean, I gotta put it in the right place. So what I'm trying to find out is, as we come into the knowledge of what He's saying, the Word, where are we applying this in our lives? Yes, sir. It wasn't look like. What, at what point does that Word begin to configure <laughs> us to the? <laughs> the all in all aspects of our lives. I, I like the analogy because a lot of people just get the Word and put it in the trunk. Right? Yeah. They don't put it in the engine. I don't think there's a problem with that. I, 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 think, I think we know, we, every one of us in the room know what it looks like. We know what surrender looks like. Yes, we do. Right. Yeah. Well, we, we, don't, we, we don't want to know what it looks like, really, though. No. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you look at Jesus, you look at surrender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, and so he said, let this mind be in you that's also mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus, right? Yeah. So now he's reconfiguring or he's reshaping us mentally. Right. He's changing the way we think. Or his word is designed to change the way we think. Come on, come on. And so if that be the case, that's what I'm trying to When we are looking at the image of the being, are we looking at the thought life more so than we're looking at anything else? Because the thought life is what's going to determine what they physically are going to do. So the way a person thinks seems to be more the image Yes. That he's trying to change. He is. It's like how you think. Is right. So let this mind be in you that was also in Christ right. Jesus. Be not conformed to the word, be transformed by renewing your, your mind. mind. Right. And the mind is the imaging machine. Yes, sir. So what are you seeing? What are you Okay. Seeing? <clears throat> you want to know what it looks like? You want to know what it looks like? Let me tell you what it looks like. <laughs> What's the purpose of renewal of the mind? They think different. But why does God need to renew your mind? So you think differently. It perceives differently. differently. Discern differently. For like example, I use the example like when Gehazi, I, when, when, when they were surrounded by the city, they saw that, that multitude 
But Elijah was already could see it. He he said, Lord, open his eyes. When we when we when we think the way we think now, one is we have limitations. Now I gotta go. I didn't have David's pocket. So here, really quick. See, see, we gotta understand these things. We, we gotta know what, we gotta we gotta let you tell them tell him God is doing something yes, in right. scripture, in Christ. He's doing so. Right. We need to know what he's doing. Listen up. The only reason you need your mind renewed. Ain't no more reason for that. The only reason God is adamant about renewing your mind is so that He has done something to you in Christ mm -hmm. that makes you new. Mm -hmm. The renewal of the mind brings you into the knowledge of what who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. All He's doing is telling you, I made you a new creature. Now let me tell you what and who you are. Who you are, right? Who you are. Like? The renewal of the mind is yourself the way God has purpose to create you in Christ. Yeah. That's all it does. Yeah. And then now you're like, oh, that's who I am. Yes. Yeah. Because once you know who you are, Come on. then put God in mind. So he's trying to get you to become Woo. what he's already done in Christ. Yes. He's already done it, but you can't, it don't mean nothing you because you don't know it. You don't know. So he gets your mind and you so you're like, oh, <laughs> if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away the whole all things become new. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. He's not trying to call you to become who you already are. Who you are. In Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. That happens through the renewal Woo. of the mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yes, yes. So you get the mind renewed, and now you enter in to becoming yeah. who you are. Who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. Jesus. Huh? You become who you are. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what God is after. Exactly. Mr. Judas, why you're here. <laughs> Father in heaven, Lord, you're worthy to Woo. be praised, honored, and glorified. And then we just before we got started, dear Lord, we just said that uh, you know, whatever it is that you would have for us, let us to let us to glean on that, let us to, let us to internalize that, Lord. Mm -hmm. And once again, you give us revelation. Yes. Uh, that we uh, may not have necessarily internalized before. Thank you, dear Father, for Thank you. the words that you have given us. Mm -hmm. And understanding that the image that we tend to see worldly yes. uh, it is not the image that, that you, you are looking at. So thank you, Father. Thank you. So that when we walk out of here, mm. we realize uh, that we will always be in conflict mm. with, with this world. Mm. But if we are with you, yes. we will have peace yes. and understanding. And we just thank you, dear Father, thank that you have chosen us. And we take this bread right now that's in our hands. Yes. And we remember your son, Jesus Christ, uh, for what he has done for us. And we thank you, Jesus, thank you. for who you are, not just to God the Father, but to who you are to us. Yes. Because if without you, there would be no way. <laughs> Come out. We thank you for that relationship that you reestablished. Yes. And our belief in you mm. has made us children of God. Yes. We say this in your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 And now we take this cup, mm -hmm. a representation, dear Jesus, of your pure blood. Yes. Righteous blood poured upon us, makes us also white as snow, dear Lord. Come on, man. And we just thank you Woo. that we are in, we are part of your family. Yes. And right now we take this cup, we pause mm. spiritually in remembrance of you, dear Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Drink. Amen. Mm. Lord, without particular words and special words and try to sound like I'm all that and we're all that, dear Lord, just take the resources that we had, yes. that you gave us, and let us give them back to you that things according to your will yes. and your way can be done. Yes. Lord, you work in many mysteries and strange things. Woo, Lord. Whether we understand them or not, dear Lord, let us move in faith yes. in the direction that you want us to go. Yes. We thank you for this facility. Mm. Mm. And wherever else our hearts Come will on, go, Come on. let us take church with us. Let us yes. take your son with us <laughs> and do what you would have us to do. We say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Praise amen. God. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Thank you, Bishop. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. All right. Next time. Next time. The bishop has left the building. The bishop